This is a view you don't always get to see inside a DEA lab investigating a deadly drug targeting our community. I'm talking about those fake pills laced with the synthetic opioid known as fentanyl. It's getting into the hands of our kids all across our area. Yeah, we've been talking a lot about yeah. this lately, like way too much. And all new at 11 or Matthew Torres takes us inside the DEA lab where an overwhelming amount of these fake pills, pills have chemists working around the clock. Fentanyl is intensifying this problem. Fentanyl. One pill can kill. Fentanyl. Fentanyl. Many people will, will die from drug overdose, but they don't care. It's the harsh reality destroying families across our region. Fentanyl, whether in powder form or in pills, is a highly potent drug, the driving force of deadly overdoses in recent years. In order to drive the market, to make more money, to make more people addicted to fentanyl, there's frankly duping people into taking pills that otherwise thought they were taking some other pill. The Drug Enforcement Administration blaming Mexican drug cartels, infiltrating communities by selling fake pills containing fentanyl. And it's at this lab for the DEA's Washington division where forensic chemist Jacqueline Brown is testing recently seized drugs, waiting for a few hours to determine if they're laced with the synthetic opioid. Brown says lately her team is mostly seeing counterfeit oxycodone, also known as M30s. We have here are two different colors of M30s. So one is like a dusty blue and one is more aqua blue, but these both contain fentanyl around one to two percent. It may sound like a small amount, but officials stress ingesting two milligrams of fentanyl seen here next to a penny is enough to kill. The DEA showcasing to WSA nine examples of fake pills and Xanax bars. They may look normal, but don't be fooled. Unfortunately, there is no way to know what the pill you are buying illicitly is containing. Unless it's a prescription from your doctor or pharmacy, the DEA says don't assume the pills you get are the real deal. Some of the most vulnerable victims have been our youth, teens targeted by drug cartels by promoting on social media like TikTok and Snapchat. By nuestros hijos. It's been on the mind of many families across the DMV after several reports of youth overdoses in schools this year. We have seasoned chemists who have been on the bench for 20 years who cannot tell the difference. Um, we don't know unless we run it on our instruments. For now, federal agents here are conducting their own enforcement through their latest campaign, One Pill Can Kill, keeping these chemists busy, each one now assigned to analyze the abundance of drugs coming in. The agents in this area in Maryland, Virginia, and Washington, D.C. are seizing these pills on a daily basis. In just last year, the DEA says agents seized more than 8 million potentially doses of fentanyl in our region. That's about nearly 160,000 fake pills and more than 250 pounds of fentanyl powder. But it's not just the pills containing fentanyl. They can be found in heroin, cocaine, and meth.